Timmy kicks it left footed across the field but a Johnny Johnny now in possession over on the far side gives it up along the wing Shamey Morris comes racing out to meet it Shamey has fought the edge out now gives it out to the wing now but it comes out to Patrick Ryan who's cutting his way through now a shred in the goal oh! As he gives out to Cummins. Cummins now is 45, 21 yards out of the ball. Loses possession, regains it. Decided to give it back to Johnny Cummins. Oh! A goal on Nicky McGrath! The cup is on its way to the goal too. A goal on Nicky McGrath from Belfast. Aiden Carroll, Carroll. Putting his way through, right, right ball, up now to Paul Ryan. Ryan comes out now, 40 yards out. Kicks it left foot into the centre to shoot Leamy Morrissey. Leamy Morrissey now, a left foot ball in front of the goal man. The ball hooked and stays now. It's a goal for the early by Phil Hill Finn. A goal by Phil Hill Finn. We're in two minutes into injury time. The game is very, very nearly over. The ball in the middle of the field breaks out now. It comes out to Shaney. Shaney gives up to Johnny Cummins. Galbi are really and top now as the Cummins goes through. Picks it right for it is from the over the bar. 317 to 113. This is as fine as display as ever I've seen from the Galbi team. The referee calls for the ball in the game. Goes. Center, held in the air there by Bertie Begley, Bertie Begley up along the right wing now, the ball cuts inside, it goes inside now and pulled in the first time into the goal Tommy Kelly comes out, loses the ball, the ball is inside, it's, looks, it's, it's a goal for Galbley. A goal for Galbley and I make it Pat Goley the scorer after three minutes and 58 seconds of the first half giving it plenty of air, lobbing about 60 metres out from the Kalidi goal, held in the air by Colin Finnan, breaks it across the wing, that was Clayton Begley, Begley now in possession now, trying to get the former captain of St. Coleman's and from I gives it into the centre now to the full forward, Danny, Danny had the ball in his hand, a shot from Danny, oh! a goal by Danny O'Neill! <coughs> A goal by Danny O'Neill, the man from Chapel White, who I spoke previously about, a man of great hurling tradition, brother of Paz, who captained Tipperary to win the National Hurling League back in the late 80s. <laughs> Held in the air by Bertie Bagley. Bertie Bagley, a high dropping ball in towards the square. The ball is inside. <laughs> a goal! A goal for Galbley! A goal by Danny O'Neill! Colin Finnan combining with Danny O'Neill to put Galbley back on level terms. I make it about, about 20 minutes gone in the second half. Galbley back on level terms as Tommy Kelly pucks it out. They bend to the fight until John Kiley. Kiley now is 60 metres out, putting his way through Kiley. He's on the 14. A shot from Danny. A goal! A goal for Galbley! A goal by Danny O'Neill! I have spoken about this man from Cabo White previously. This man has buried Kennedy for once and for all. And I think it is indeed a great pleasure for me to present this cup here today to John Kiley. And John Kiley holds a unique record. He's the first Galbally man to wear a Limerick jersey in Croke Park. <laughs> and, and I sincerely hope that will be the first of many green and white jerseys that John will wear. 
I have been associated with John as a selector from both minor and under 21. I think he's a young man who has shown wonderful commitment and wonderful dedication. He's given wonderful service to his club and to his county. And it is my pleasure now to present him with the County Cup on behalf of the County Board. <laughs> say that and it's one that didn't come off from a Galbally point of view it's Johnny Mooney's kick up but it's Galbally winning it again it's Liam Casey who picks up the loose ball and gives it to James Ryan Ryan now finds James Cummins on this near side here in the, Ma oh, the Mackie Sands side of the Gaelic grounds he finds Kieran Hickey Hickey's had a huge influence since coming onto the field shooting chance now for Kieran Hickey and that's the lead for Galbally a stunning score from Kieran Hickey and maybe a bit of a master stroke from Ger Fahey and his management team and bringing Kieran Hickey on when they did. Matt O'Callaghan mentioned it at halftime.